Here at the Fly-In Cruise-In, we have two Grant County World War II B-25 veterans. And I'm with Mr. Benjamin. Mr. Benjamin, you were a pilot on the B-25. Yes. Just a few minutes ago, this airplane landed. It came taxiing up on the tarmac. I watched you look at that airplane. Will you tell me what you were feeling? Well, my pacemaker and defibrillator was uh, ticking real good. <laughs> oh, it just makes tears come to your eyes. It really does. You served uh, on this airplane. Tell us about your service on this airplane. You were a pilot. Yes, well, I was in China, the 14th Air Force, Flying Tigers. Uh, that's what else you can say. Well, most of our f flying as such was bridge busting out bridges and sea sweeps and all. We had no high level stuff at all. It was all treetop stuff. Very exciting. There wasn't nothing boring about it. <laughs> of course going to and from targets. We had a lot of mountains in China to get up over and all, but the actual fighting was done at treetop level, which was a lot of fun. How old were you when you were captain on this B-25? Well, 22, with a high school education at the time. What? <laughs> 22 years old, and, and truly, you may have been the oldest man on the crew. This probably was. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know, uh, and I'm not asking for war stories. No, I don't like war stories. And I understand, <laughs> but any any particular trip or any significant thing stand out that that makes you just love this old B-25? Bring you home every day. You know, the only thing that's really exciting about the fighting as we did was when you could come down and you'd hit that bridge and you'd peel a look back and the bridge is gone and you say my it's gone yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really exhilarating uh -huh. Uh -huh. how many missions uh, i really don't know i don't uh, you don't keep track and they don't talk about it much uh, after you flew the b-25 did you continue flying uh, anything else uh, no no very little I flew with george davis some when i was in the industry here in marion and we used to take George would fly us back and forth, and he'd turn the controls over to me. And I flew some of the old West Side Airport, when it was stuff where Fisher Body is now. But uh, went back to college and all, and I just got out of it and never got back into it. Where were you originally from, Marion? What brought born, you to Marion? Born in Marion, born right here in Marion. And and your full name? David Benjamin. Mm -hmm. So you left Marion, went and flew the B-25 and you returned back home here? Well, yeah. I went, of course, to school at Ball State and then I worked with, you know, out of Indianapolis for a number of years before I then we finally came back to Marion and still here. I guess where they're going to bury me here. <laughs> well, Mr. Benjamin, I'm very proud that you came out to the Flying Cruise Inn well, to, to meet this old airplane. Yes, I'm real honored to be out here and look at it and see these fellows and what they've done to it, what they have done. and. Brings back a lot of memories. Thank you, sir. I was 50 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Mr. Murphy. Yeah. Tell me your full name. Edward William Murphy. And Edward, you're from Sweetser, Indiana. Yeah. And uh, I met you recently. I saw you had a B-25 cap on. And we talked about B-25s, and when I told you that we were bringing one to Marion, you got all excited, and here you are. That's right. And uh, you saw this airplane fly in here today. I saw this airplane, today. and I have a B-25 at home, a model, uh -huh. and I can fly it. Tell me when this airplane landed, and it came, up, it came up on this tarmac a little bit ago. What was going through your mind? I was looking at how pretty, pretty that fuselage and stuff is, and you got two engines on it. You served in the top turret, is that right? Yeah. How old were you when you were flying in the B-25? How old? Uh-huh. Let's uh, see here. Years 26 old. years old, yeah. And uh, you, I saw you, you crawled up in this airplane a little bit ago, and you got up in that top turret, didn't you? What I love you, that. What were you thinking? I was thinking, boy, I'd love, <laughs> I'd love to be shooting a target out there somewhere. You know, I rode an airplane like that, 
and they, I had the the gun on on the turret in there, and I I, I sitting in there, not waiting for him to pass this. He's pulling a uh, thing at what they call them a uh, look like a big sock uh -huh. in the air. Uh -huh. Well, if you could hit that, if you could hit that, you got five bucks. Yeah, he bought that. He brought he had a plane come by there. And, I draw it on that doggone. I pill that full of holes and also cut it off the line. <laughs> Did you get your five bucks? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I overheard you telling a story about uh, a bomb that got stuck. Right. What happened? Well, you know you have a crew of about eight people on there, and nobody wanted to jar it loose. So how in the hell are you gonna land? When you got a bomb stuck out of the bottom of the fuselage, and I said, I'll go up and, and release it. Because you got carriers in there that uh, holds that bomb, it's got like, it just snaps on it. And it's hanging down and, and didn't just release from the top. So I, you can't put no parachute on. So he, the little guy calls over the phone and said, okay, why don't you guys go out there and, and release that bomb? Nobody went. Now, back, back now that bomb, I mean, it's partially out of the airplane, so you're looking down there, it's wide open, isn't That's it? That's right. Yeah. But but if you notice on there, see that, see that, see right, right there where the holes are there? Yes. Well, I stuck my feet down there, and there like that. And then I took, and the bomb was hanging with his nose down. Well, I looked down to see where, if his, if any houses was down there, and said, nope, we was over a desert. So I, I went and grab the hole that dog going release and I give her a yank and <laughs> down she went bombs away yeah so I sat stayed there I want to see where it hit a whole bunch of cows off to the right of it but it missed it they went hit down there and hit the ground and boy you, t you talk about some cattle moving some aerial dirt flew up it was, it was live when it got loose because it pulled the thing out of the nose, see. I crawled back up, closed up the doggone doors, and went back and tapped the old pilot on the floor. He said, okay, you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a parachute on when you were doing that? No. You couldn't put a parachute on. I had to, just, I had to, I had to hang, hang on with one hand and use the other and take it well, we're very proud that both of you gentlemen came out to the Flying Cruise Inn to, to meet this B-25, and uh, we appreciate you doing that. And, uh, you know, we're here at the Flying Cruise Inn. We're enjoying this because of the service that you guys did for us, and we're very proud of that.